Hi friends, I'm Chelsea and I am here with my April TBR. I have done a couple of these videos so far and I honestly am just always looking forward to doing my TBR prompt again because it's so fun. It's like a little mystery scavenger hunt. I'm really excited to do my TBR jar video again for the month of April. So I think I've decided since I have a couple of book club books every month, I'm just going to go ahead and say what those are at the beginning and not try to hunt for them in my jar because it's been kind of difficult starting in this video. I'm just going to tell you what my book club choices are and then do my other TBR jar prompts after that. So I have two separate book club picks and then I'm also going to be listening to a book with my husband as we are driving down to Florida in April. My first book club book is The Year of Magical Thinking by Joan Didion and this is nonfiction memoir. Basically it's about this year in her life where her daughter was in a medically induced coma and then her husband died of a heart attack so she's just kind of dealing with the grief of that and loss and love and life and all of that that's all I know really but it was picked by someone in our book club so I'll be listening to that and then my other book club pick I actually chose and I'm very excited about this one's been on my TBR for a bit that is What the River Knows by Isabel Ibanez this is a historical fantasy romance I've heard it's like the mummy meets Death on the Nile meets Indiana Jones, so it's set in Egypt. There's like an enemies to lovers romance. Just seems like a fun little historical fantasy with some mystery romance adventure, so I'm excited about that one. And then this one is a long time coming, and my husband is very excited about this. I am too, but he is especially, because we are listening to The Way of Kings, which is the first book in the Stormlight Archives by Brandon Sanderson. So that is his favorite author. He's been wanting me to read Stormlight for forever. Ever, but I've been very intimidated by the size of the books and the length of the series just been putting it off but I really did enjoy Tress of the Emerald Sea and Mistborn those are the only two books by him that I've read so I'm gonna give it a chance and like I said we're driving down to Florida so we have quite the long journey and figured that would be a great time to start to listen to that and I'll probably continue listening to it throughout the rest of the month after we get home from our trip so those are the three books for sure that I will be reading and listening to in April. After those, I think I'm going to pick six prompts in here. So I have a couple options and as usual, it'll be a mix of audiobook and physical. And so yeah, we're going to pick a couple prompts. So here we go, starting with prompt number one. Oh, and I added a bunch of new prompts for this month. So let's we'll see what we get here. Hold on. You want to come in or not? If you want to be in here, then be in here. Okay, Adelaide's going to help me pick my books. She's very curious. Okay, prompt number one. Oh, okay. Jane Austen related. I just added this one. I did just read Persuasion. I have my Jane Austen book, which is not in here actually. So it could be Jane Austen or it could be related to Jane Austen. I do have, where is it? I did get this book fairly recently, The Jane Austen Society. So this is probably the only Jane Austen related book on my actual shelf. I could probably do like a deep dive and look for a lot of Jane Austen related books, potentially in audiobook form, but I don't really feel like spending the time to do that. So I'm going to pick The Jane Austen Society. I talked about this, I think, in my book haul video. It's a historical fiction set in the 1940s. So World War II and it's about a group of people who are in Chawton which is the final home of Jane Austen. They kind of get together, they have this mutual love of Jane Austen, they kind of get together and form this Jane Austen society. So Jane Austen related. I wasn't expecting to pick this one up anytime soon but this is why the TBR jar is a thing. Okay, prompt number two, three word title. Okay, lots of options here, maybe. Foul Lady Fortune, Us Against You, Half a Soul, The Fifth Season, yes, The Lincoln Highway, Little Fires Everywhere, Sea of Tranquility, Sing of Everything. There's a lot of three word titles here. My Brilliant Friend, The Rose Code, Dead Romantics, 
Anne of Avonlea. Okay, yeah, quite a few three-word titles here. Okay, I'm doing this now because I don't know if I'll get another chance. I have been dying to read this book for so long. I've been seeing a lot of great things about it. I love cozy fantasy. In my mind, I'm like, I'm picking this book for my April TBR no matter what. This is the Regency Fairy Tales, the first in the series. The little like headline here says, it's difficult to find a husband in Regency England when you're a young lady with only half a soul. She was cursed by a fairy. She meets this guy named Elias Wilder. He is the Lord Sorcerer. He discovers her condition and they get kind of thrown into some fairy affairs. Yeah, I've just heard that it's super like quirky and cozy and just really cute. So I am very excited about Half a Soul. Okay, number three, I definitely have another book I really want to read. Otherwise, I'm just kind of open to wherever the wind takes us. Perfect. Audiobook. That's just it. And Libby, Scribed, or Audible. Those are where I listen to my audiobooks. So this brings me to my audiobook TBR. I have three pages of it. I just wrote it down in a note and have it on my iPad. Real fancy. There's a lot of options and I'm kind of feeling like I want to pick something that gives spring vibes. So a couple options. Foxglove, that is the second book after Belladonna. Let's see. The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi, like a pirate fantasy. And what else? Mame, that's one I've been interested in. Don't know much about it. The cover's really pretty. The Women by Kristen Hanna. I have that on some random audiobook app that I found. What am I feeling? Um, okay, please move. You're being really obnoxious. Okay, I'm feeling The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi, like a fun pirate fantasy. I feel like that feels like a good spring kind of book. I should probably pick a short book because I'm listening to The Way of Kings and it's like 40 hours, but here we are. Okay, that's three prompts and we have three more. Probably pick a couple other audiobooks, a couple other physical books. Here is number four. Um, okay, it just says pretty cover. Cool. That is pretty easy. Let's see. Pretty cover. Okay, I got this book recently and I absolutely love this cover. It's really calling out to me. So this one is My Brilliant Friend by Elena Ferrante. I got this for like $2 at Goodwill. So this is like literary fiction by an Italian author. I think it's the first in a series. I don't really know much about it. I've heard some good things about it. It's just about a friendship and it's set in the 1950s. So I guess historical just kind of follows these two girls, Elena and Lila and set in Italy, like I said. But yeah, I just love this cover. I think it's beautiful and I'm very interested in this. And this doesn't seem too long. It's like 300 pages. So that is good. Also, Half the Soul is just under 300 pages, so that's good. I like having some short books here. So there's one I really want to read. I'm not going to say what it is, but I'm hoping that it shows up here. Okay, buy myself a new book. I might not do this one because I bought a couple books lately, and I really don't need to buy any more. This is nice. This is very nice, but I'm going to just veto this one. I don't need to buy any more books right now. I'm I'm just gonna not do that one. Okay, gifted by someone. Let's see. So probably not an audiobook because those are all like the library inscribed. Are any of these gifted? None of these. Oh no, the seven year slip I think was gifted. Let's see here. These are all thrifted or found for free. I'm going to pick, no wait, the seven year slip was not gifted. I thrifted that, but the dead romantics was, which I also want to read. I probably would honestly rather read the seven year slip, but you know, so this is another kind of short one. It's under 400 and my husband got this for me for Christmas, I believe. And this is The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. Kind of a contemporary romance, but with a ghost or something. So maybe like some paranormal situation there. That's all I know about it. But it sounds kind of interesting. It seems like maybe a good spring read. We got some flowers here, so kind of springy. And like I said, these are some good short books. I really like that. I have four physical books and then... What the River Knows will be a physical book. That's five, way more physical books than I get through in a typical month. And I have like three audiobooks. So that could be slightly problematic, but you know, it's fine. Okay, last pick. 
We'll see what we got here. Okay, Cozy Fantasy. I already picked half a soul. I was hoping I would get this so I could pick half a soul, but I already picked it. So do I have any on here? These are not fantasy. Under the Whispering Door, I know the House in the Cerulean Sea is cozy, and so that might be. Don't know if I have any, but honestly, I should probably pick an audiobook anyway. So let's see what my cozy fantasy options are. I've heard really good things about A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. I don't know if that counts as cozy fantasy. I've heard that it's very lyrical, so I don't know if it would be considered cozy. I guess it depends on your definition of cozy. I have Howl's Moving Castle. I know that one would count for sure. Not a lot of cozy fantasy on here, which I do love that genre. I'm just gonna hope that A River Enchanted counts as cozy fantasy and will give me those cozy vibes because I do really want to read that one and I have it in audiobook form. I'm going to pick A River Enchanted and if it's not cozy we know we got Half a Soul here to cover that. So I will say that there are two books on this cart here that I really wanted to read in April that were not picked. I might just read those also. Should I tell you or should I keep it a surprise? I'm just going to tell you. So I recently picked this one up from the library, Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. And just by the nature of it being a library book, I want to get to it sooner than later before my hold runs out. And I've heard really good things about this one. I have not read Caraval, so I'm kind of hoping that I won't be confused going into it without really knowing characters. But I've heard that this is just a really cute fairy tale, really sweet wholesome. So I might just add this to the TBR and see if I can get to it. And then also Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. So I just read and loved Fifth of Crows. I will be talking about it in my March wrap up video very soon. I literally ordered this when I was 100 pages into Six of Crows because I was already loving it. I really do want to read this ASAP. We'll see about this TBR, you know, it's all just good to have options. I will be on spring break, so I might have more time to read than normal. Maybe this is the month to just add a lot of books to my TBR and see how many I can read. So to wrap this up, in my physical books category, we have the Jane Austen Society as my Jane Austen related book. We have The Dead Romantics as my Gifted by Someone prompt, my brilliant friend for the pretty cover prompt, Half a Soul for Three Word Title, A River Enchanted for Cozy Fantasy, The Adventures of Amina Al Sarafi for my audiobook. And then, like I mentioned, I have The Way of Kings that I'll just be listening to with my husband. And then my book club choices, What the River Knows and The Year of Magical Thinking, plus these two extra books you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven physical books, three audiobooks, no, four audiobooks. So that's like 11 books on my TBR. It totally seems doable. Like I said, it's fun to have options. That is my April TBR. Let me know what you're planning to read in April or if you've read any of these, if I should maybe pick which ones to prioritize because I will need to prioritize. Just let me know what you think about these. That is all for now. I will see you in my next video. Bye!